Hi, today is December the 10th and we are continuing to find those answers. Who am I? Who is God? And what the heck are we doing together? And we are searching for those answers in the One Year Bible, the New Living Translation. And I want to remind you once again that uh, God has created you in his image and he's given you value. I often use a diamond to remind you that you are a treasure because Jesus Christ gave everything for you. Matthew 13, 44. We are referring to Amos chapter 1, verse 1 through chapter 3, verse 15. Revelation chapter 2, verses 1 through 17. Psalm 129, verses 1 through 8. Proverbs chapter 29, verses 19 and 20. The Old Testament is Amos chapter 1, verse 1 through chapter 3, verse 15. This is the message that God gave Amos. Now, Amos was a shepherd. Uh, the Old Testament prophets were varied in what they did for a living. God would send a messenger, a prophet, to tell Israel what he wanted them to know. Verse 2, the Lord's voice will roar from Zion and thunder from Jerusalem. And this is what the Lord says, and he says it over and over and over again to different people. The people of Damascus have sinned again and again, and I will not let them go unpunished. And then it tells what he is going to do uh, to punish these people. This is what the Lord says, verse 6, The people of Gaza have sinned again and again, and I will not let them go unpunished. Verse 9, this is what the Lord says, The people of Tyre have sinned again and again, and I will not let them go unpunished. Verse 11, this is what the Lord says, The people of Edom have sinned again and again, and I will not let them go unpunished. Verse 13, this is what the Lord says. The people of Ammon have sinned again and again, and I will not let them go unpunished. Verse 1 of chapter 2, this is what the Lord says. The people of Moab have sinned again and again, and I will not let them go unpunished. Verse 4, this is what the Lord says. The people of Judah have sinned again and again, and I will not let them go unpunished. They have rejected the instruction of the Lord, refusing to obey his decrees. They have been led astray by the same lies that deceived their ancestors. So I will send down fire on Judah and all the fortresses of Jerusalem will be destroyed. Verse 6, this is what the Lord says. The people of Israel have sinned again and again, and I will not let them go unpunished. That's chapter 3. Uh, verse 1, listen to this message that the Lord has spoken against you, O people of Israel and Judah, against the entire family I rescued from Egypt. I have been intimate with you alone. In other words, God has been faithful to Israel. That is why I must punish you for all your sins. Can two people walk together without agreeing on the direction? Does a lion ever roar in a thicket without first finding a victim? Does disaster come to a city unless the Lord has planned it? Verse 7. Indeed, the sovereign Lord never does anything until he reveals his plan to his servants, the prophets. The sovereign Lord has spoken, so who can refuse to proclaim his message? My people have forgotten how to do right, says the Lord. Their fortresses are filled with wealth taken by theft and violence. Therefore, the enemy is coming. We're going to go to Revelation. These are the most exciting um, verses, I think, in the Bible. It talks about the message to the churches. Revelation 2, 1 through 17. Write this letter to the angel of the church in Ephesus. And angel is also messenger. This is the message from the one who holds the seven stars in his right hand. The one who walks among the seven gold lampstands. I know all the things you do. I have seen your hard work and your patient endurance. I know you don't tolerate evil people. You have examined the claims of those who say they are our apostles, but are not. You have discovered they are liars. You have patiently suffered for me without quitting. But I have this complaint against you. You don't love me or each other as you did at first. Other translation says, you have lost your first love. 
Look how far you have fallen. Turn back to me and do the works you did at first. If you don't repent, I will come and remove your lampstand from its place among the churches. But this is in your favor. You hate the evil deeds of the Nicolaitans, just as I do. Now, this is something he says to every one of the churches, and Jesus was saying it to the people. Anyone with ears to hear must listen to the Spirit and understand what he is saying to the churches. To everyone who is victorious, I will give fruit from the tree of life in the paradise of God. So there's always a consequence for sin and a reward for doing what God has asked you to do. Verse 8, write this letter to the angel of the church in Smyrna. This is the message from the one who is the first and the last, who was dead but is now alive. I know about your suffering and your poverty, but you are rich. I know the blasphemy of those opposing you. They say they are Jews, but they are not, because their synagogue belongs to Satan. Don't be afraid about what you are about to suffer. The devil will throw some of you into prison to test you. You will suffer for ten days, but if you remain faithful, even when facing death, I will give you the crown of life. Anyone with ears to hear must listen to the Spirit and understand what he is saying to the churches. Whoever is victorious will not be harmed by the second death. So there's so many things that God has, has promised us, and uh, he's a good God. And he rewards those who um, who do what's right. Verse 12, the letter to the angel of the church in Pergamum. This is the message from the one with the sharp two-edged sword. So much description of God I, in Jesus Christ. I pray that you read this for yourself. I know that you live in the city where Satan has his throne, yet you have remained loyal to me. You refuse to deny me even when Antipas, my faithful witness was martyred among you there in Satan's city, but I have a few complaints against you. You tolerate some among you whose teaching is like that of Balaam, you show, who showed Balak how to trip up the people of Israel. He taught them to sin by eating food offered to idols and by committing sexual sin. In a similar way, you have some Nicolaitans among you who follow the same teaching. Repent of your sin, or I will come to you suddenly and fight against them with the sword of my mouth. Anyone with ears to hear must listen to the Spirit and understand what he is saying to the churches. To everyone who is victorious, I will give some of the manna that has been hidden away in heaven, and I will give to each one a white stone, and on the stone will be engraved a new name that no one understands except the one who receives it. Wow, there's so much for the people of God, from God. Psalm 129, verses 1 through 8, verse 4. But the Lord is good. He has cut me free from the ropes of the ungodly. Verse 8. The Lord bless you. We bless you in the Lord's name. Proverbs chapter 29, verses 19 through 20 and verse 20. There is more hope for a fool than someone who speaks without thinking. I want you to share these videos so God's word may be heard and have an absolutely blessed day. And don't forget, the king is coming.